Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I want to set the stage really quick because we have a recent acquisition by Altria or investment by Altria that brings you up to 35% stake and double the value of Juul. Um, we've also seen a recent uptick in similar tactics as was used by big um, cigarette companies, big tobacco companies in the years leading up to uh, the crisis that we faced the last generation of tobacco users, including, uh, I have an article I'd last, like to ask unanimous consent to enter into the record. Ahead of congressional hearing, Juul crosses $1 million in quarterly lobbying payouts for the first time. That's a Forbes article. And also just today on my phone, I was reading a Politico article and an ad popped up that's from Juul saying, learn more about how we're combating youth vaping. And I don't think there's a whole lot of people outside of the political sphere that read Politico. Um, so anyway, here we are, and I want to just talk about a, uh, influencers that are pushing the product. I know that um, social media is clearly the, the place where young people are getting a lot of their information, and um, just so everyone's on the same page with terminology, influencers are social media users who have large online followings and established audience credibility. Many of them have hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of online followers. Many companies ranging from clothing brands, cosmetic lines, food and beverages, and so on, sign contracts with known influencers on sites like Instagram to help sell their products. Mr. Monsies, are you aware of what an influencer program is and how one might be used to sell products? I'm, I'm generally aware of an how an influencer program would work. Great. Yes. And given the growing popularity of influencers as, brand, as a brand marketing tool, companies now have the ability to authentically market their products directly through the smartphones of potential consumers, which means it will inevitably be seen by people of all backgrounds, including race and ethnicity, gender identity, geography, age, and so on. And just out of curiosity, Mr. Monsies, do you happen to know off the top of your head how old you need to be to create an Instagram account? Uh, I, I don't. 13. You have to be 13 years old. So in advance of this hearing, we sent Jewel a letter asking you to identify, quote, every celebrity, influencer, and marketing agency that was engaged by Jewel. And Mr. Monsi's Jewel's June 21st letter response pointed to only four influencers and state that you, quote, do not have a traditional celebrity or influencer program. Was that response accurate? I believe it is, yes. So let's turn our eyes to some of the documents you did graciously provide in advance of this hearing. Exhibit four is a March 2nd, 2015 contract with Grit Creative Group for the, quote, Jewel Launch Influencer Seeding Program. The contract required Grit to, quote, curate and identify 280 influencers in LA and New York to seed Jewel product over the course of three months. Is this correct? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have a copy of that document. Does... We'll be happy to provide one for you. Uh, is there a reason that Jewel failed to mention these 280 influencers in your response to the subcommittee? Uh, I'm sorry, I'd have to at least take a look at the document. I'm not. It's information sure you provided us. There were a lot of documents we provided. I'm sorry. I okay, well, the, the staff works on that. that. Let's look at Exhibit 5, a second GRIT contract dated July 27th of 2015 to secure, quote, social media buzz makers with a minimum of 30,000 followers and to develop, quote, influencer engagement efforts to establish a network of creatives to leverage as loyalists for Jewel. So, Mr. Monsies, GRIT wasn't the only company you hired to engage influencers like this. There are others, correct? Look, I, maybe I can, I can help get to the, maybe I can help cut this short a little bit. Um, there were a number of different things that we tried um, early on in pursuit of the mission of this company. We, we know that of the billion smokers globally, 70% want to quit. What we also knew was that younger consumers aged 25 to 34 was going to be the target of our initial campaign. Oh, thank you was going to be the target of our initial campaign because what we found was they would be more receptive to new technology solutions that hadn't been available before. Okay, I, I'm running out of time, so I want to just get to a couple of other things. So in Exhibit 6, and you've got your documents now, is a May 6, 2015 email from Kate Morgan, your field marketing manager who oversaw influencers and launch parties. She references the 280 Joule influencers from Grit and says, quote, we are doing a, a target to build 1,000 Joule influencers internally via an email campaign. Exhibit 7 shows Joule analyzing its own email lists and identifying 29,000 influencers. So I realize that you're saying that you were doing this to target young people, and that's fine. But the, in uh, Exhibit 8, an August 4, 2015 marketing update stated, quote, the container tour will get Joule into the hands of over 12,500 influencers, subsequently introducing Joule to over 1.5 million people. And... Let's go back to this 20, June 21st letter to the subcommittee. You said you do not have a traditional celebrity or influencer program. But in May 7, on Exhibit 9, May 17, 2018, a dual document in, entitled Jewel Influencer Program, 
detail steps that your influencer team had already taken. We, we continue through this from June 5th in Exhibit, uh, or sorry, December 5th, 2017 in Exhibit 10, May 29th, 2018, Exhibit 11, uh, including the, in, the email saying influencer department roundup. We've got 200 casted influencers. So do you still maintain that you didn't have an influencer program? To the, to the best of my knowledge, um, we, I'm sorry, are you talking about a paid influencer program? Is that what we're discussing here? No, we're talking an influencer program. Okay, look. But you're on, the, you're on the record, and you said a moment ago that you did not have a traditional celebrity or influencer program. Do you want to maintain that? I'll let the witness answer, but we're running out of time. Go ahead. Sure. Look, uh, it sounds like we're getting into territory I'm not completely familiar with, so I, um, uh, I'm more than happy to look into Okay, so we're going to ask you to re respond in writing then as a follow-up to this about your influencer program and whether you would like to revise your statement that says that you did not have a traditional celebrity or influencer program. And when kids learn about a dangerous project from influencers on social media, it avoids public detection by parents, especially when many of these social media sites are used by millions of kids under 18, which could help explain how Juul got its product into the hands of over 20% of high schoolers before parents had even heard of Juul, let alone had a chance to step in. Thank you.